Hello, I'm Terrell Thomas. And I'm Craig Armstrong. <laughs> what a game, what a game, what a game. Hey, man. Broadway Trey gets it done again in the garden. Yeah. Now, we saw on Wednesday night our Hawks went to New York City, the first game since last spring when we saw Trey take a bow yeah. and let New, <laughs> New, York Knicks, New York Knicks fans know, ding dong, bang bong, I'm here. Hey, man. Boba Yeager, ain't that what they call John Wick? <laughs> <laughs> that man, the boogeyman up there in New York. The boogeyman. They got that man looking like the Riddler right now. And unfortunately, no one on the Knicks has found a way to be Batman. You know, we saw our, our Hawks go up to the Garden and pick up a big 117 to 111 victory against the Knicks. Hell of a performance from Trey Young. 45 points from the man. Yep. Bogey Bogdanovich. <laughs> Last, over the last three games, he's averaging 28 points pretty much, 27.7 mm -hmm. points a night. I was just about to say. Tonight, 32 points. Yeah. Our Hawks are at 500 again with a record of 36 and 36. Mm -hmm. Now they'll be on the road on, on Wednesday to take on the Pistons. But tonight, we want to celebrate what the Hawks are doing. They've been up and down since the All-Star break. They've pretty much been win one, lose one, win one, lose mm -hmm. one. Talk to me tonight about what you've seen from our Hawks. And what you think, and how you think, rather, they could build off of the momentum they gained tonight. I mean, honestly, I mean, Trey Young is—he's the villain of New York. He—he's every—he's the Joker to Gotham City <laughs> right now. I mean, he—he he went out there. He, we saw Taj Gibson touch Earth. Yes, it, it did. It, 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 it didn't look good. <laughs> um, and I mean, Bogey was really the star. I mean, Trey—we know he was gonna get out of Trey. He's gonna be the Superman. He's going to lead the Hawks. He's gonna put him on their back. But he got a good. He has to have somebody to come with him, and over, like you said, over the past three games, Bogey has been that guy. We were all in the building for the Pelican game. Bogey was the one who was pretty much single-handedly keeping them in the game for a little while. So, I mean, with Trey, we need you to do this every night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hawks, we need you to have the same intensity every single night. I mean, we can't go into the playoffs or well, the play-in, and wonder: Are you going to play up or are you going to play down? You got to have a little more consistency. But tonight, great night. Go ahead, Trey. Take your bow. <laughs> the Hawks currently sit at the 10th spot. They'll have a chance, as we mentioned, tomorrow night on Wednesday to actually jump for the first time since December and be over the 500 mark. Mm -hmm. But again, heck of a performance from our Hawks. A much-needed victory. Yeah. Trey Young, big night. Bogey Bogdanovich, big night. And Kevin Herter. Let's show some love to him as well. 14 points. A lot of rebounds, and he was he was out there playing defense. Yeah, was, that's one thing you say about there. That's one thing you say about Herder. He's been probably Trey's been our star, but Kevin's probably been our most consistent player all year. I mean, you know what you're going to get out of him every night, and he's taking the challenge of, of guarding a lot of the uh, other team's uh, guards. Heck of a performance. Once again, I'm Terrell Thomas. Craig Armstrong. Make sure you stay tuned to these Urban Times for all your NBA and Atlanta Hawks news.